She's an up-from-the-bootstraps mother and a member of her kid's local school council that fought public school closings in the neighborhood. Now, Zerlina Smith is part of a crowded field taking on incumbent 29th Ward Alderman Deborah Graham in Chicago's Austin neighborhood. I'm Mike Fouché, and this is Aldertrack's Meet a Chicago Candidate series. Tell me, Zerlina, what's driving you to run for alderman? The push, the disconnection throughout the city. The 29th Ward is not a vision of where anyone should want to, at this point, live their life and raise their family. When you walk outside your door, there is a vision of hopelessness. There is nothing that I can see that when I purchased my home, I thought Austin would be on track to, which is the revitalization, business, schools, education. I bought a home in that community for the sake of raising my child in a community with thriving schools, with a dream of having something to say that we own a home and this day and time a single mother owns a home to raise her child in and it's not what I see and it's not what I like. So would you consider yourself an Emmanuel Garcia Wilson or Fioretti supporter? I would consider myself a people supporter, whomever the people choose, because right now I have to focus on the 29th Ward. The city is very big, and it's a lot on anyone's back. And right now, as Zerlina Smith looks at it, if we have Rahm Emanuel, if we have Chewy, if we have Willie Wilson, if we have Chew, Chew I'm going to keep saying Chewy, <laughs> if we have Fioretti, yeah. um, I just think that leave it up to the people and let the best man win. If it's Rahm again, I'll just pull my wig off and throw it at him and tell him he has to work with everyone and not just a select a few. And if it's any other candidate, I'll be happy to work with them. Okay. So most sitting aldermen would say the majority of their time is taken with ward maintenance issues. But if you had one citywide policy issue, what would it be? Oh, God. To distribute the funds evenly <laughs> throughout the city. Do you, so you feel like your neighborhood's getting short shrift? I don't feel like it. I live it. There's no reason we have potholes. There's no reason that they decided to fix the holes a couple weeks prior to um, election time to come up campaigning season. I feel that the lack of city services that we have in the 29th Ward is not due just to the alderman. It's due to the mayor. All our issues come straight down from him, and it's not her, so I won't blame her, and it's just not her fault. It's the city's fault. Every alderman, one vote delegates throughout the whole city, not just one war. Beyond being a supporter of Rahm Emanuel, why do you think Deborah Graham needs to be replaced? I just think she's disconnected with the people in the community. I believe that at this point in time, with everything that's going on, not just in Chicago, but throughout the country, that we need people that's actually going to stand up and fight for what they're supposed to do. You are an elected official. Give us something. Don't sit here and turn your back on the people that have elected you to support them and be the voice, the voice for, the, for us. Okay. Thank you, Zerlina, for joining us. Thank you. You can learn more about the Zerlina Smith campaign and almost 200 others by subscribing to our email newsletter at aldertrack.com, by subscribing to this series on YouTube, and by listening to this series on Rivet Radio. Thank you very much. More great stuff to come.